Grab a bamboo stand. Hey, that, you see? Oh, that, oh, that, that. Okay. <laughs> Grab a bamboo stand. <laughs> The boot. The say that say the boot. That the boot. That the boot. Good afternoon, my dear students. Please wait. I'll be back another two minutes. Please wait. Good afternoon, my dear students. After 12 o'clock, good evening, good night, good night, there is a timing for that. Every time you cannot say the same thing. Depending upon the timing, you have to say when to say good morning, when to say good afternoon, when to say when to say good night. So from morning, if you everybody wakes up at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, up till 12 o'clock, you have to say good morning. 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 You have to say
ఎవరైనా ఎవరైనా మీట్ చేస్తే మీరు ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఎవరైనా మీట్ చేస్తే ఇఫ్ సంబడి కాల్స్ యూ ఓవర్ ద ఫోన్ యూ సే గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మేడం సంథింగ్ లైక్ దట్ వెన్ యు హావ్ టు సే గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ యు హావ్ టు సే ఆఫ్టర్ 12 నాట్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ టైం 12 15 12 30 కూడా ఏ ఉండొచ్చు పర్వాలేదు బట్ ఇట్ షుడ్ క్రాస్ 12 ఓ క్లాక్ 12 2 4 ఓ క్లాక్ అప్ టు 4 ఓ క్లాక్ యు హావ్ టు సే గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ ఆఫ్టర్ 4 ఓ క్లాక్ అప్ టిల్ నైట్ 12 ఓ క్లాక్ రిమెంబర్ after 4 o'clock up till night 12 o'clock you have to say if you happen to meet any person you have to say good evening indane paravaledu good evening ani cheppochu you have to you can say good evening suppose if you happen to meet a person at about 8 o'clock night or 9 o'clock sir 10 o'clock meet chesthe 10 o'clock meet chesthe no good evening ani cheppali good night ani cheppagoddu sir when we have to say good night that is your question when can you say good night good night can be said after you depart after having conversation after he is going home and you are going to your house then you can say after parting when both are separating for the day wish a person good night that is what there is a saying in english never wish a person good night only after parting got to say good night see you the next day or see you tomorrow like that you can say so this is how yes you <clears throat> are coming to before i start i repeat what i taught you once again excuse me i have been telling you about the articles where to use indefinite article where to use definite article where you should not use where you should definitely use how the indefinite article gets converted to definite article and uh, what are vowels what are vowel sounds and what are consonants how a gets converted to the when you are addressing the same thing for the second second time this i have told in my previous class now what i will do is i will teach you the parts of speech i will teach you the parts of speech i will start from the beginning it is noun the name of a person place thing animal etc etc just a short definition you can say noun means naming word it is a naming word anything you say anything to say anything there is a name for everything anything is a noun can be a man can can be a child can be a thing can be an animal can be a place can be can be food can be a fruit can be a vegetable can be an insect anything when you name there should be a thing for the thing there is a name if i say this this is a marker pen what color this is it is a made black color what is this this is a cat it has got a name such names when you say it is called a noun noun means naming word anything is a name it can be name of a person name of an animal name of a country name of a state name of a fruit name of a vegetable name of an insect anything school college river tree let see town village district house home thing there should be a name for a thing for everything there is a name so that is called noun so coming to noun we could now i will tell you how many types of nouns are there your teacher might have told you in the schools or taught you in the schools about different types of noun there are five types of noun there are five types of noun i start with the common noun the first one is common noun i have ta- taught this in the previous class but just for a revision i am doing it again common noun is common for all for example common noun what are the common noun man woman 
<coughs> boy, girl, son, oh no. This all relations, uncle, auntie, everything is a noun. Then come to comes to animal, animals, birds, insects, birds, insects, purguru, insects. So animals have four legs, birds have two legs, insects have six four legs, birds have two legs, trees. All different types of trees, fruit, vegetables, country, state, <coughs> like that. If you simply say school, it is a noun. If you simply, if you say Saint Joseph Indian High School. Bishop, it becomes a proper noun. So these are called common noun. If you simply say college, Christ College, San Joseph's College, Government Arts College, Government Science College, Mahani College, Maharaja College, Ramaya College, something like that. So it becomes a proper noun. Common, you don't know who it is. So common noun means man. You give a name to the man, he becomes a proper noun. You give a name to a man, Narendra Modi, that it becomes a proper noun. So all these are called common noun. We can call any boy, any girl, any son, any daughter. All these they these noun. Do you understand? Many things are there. You can say river. You can say sea, Arabian Sea, Bay of Bengal. Anything. For example, country India, Sri Lanka. Bangladesh, Pakistan, isn't it? Brazil, Australia, New Zealand, China, like that you can say. So country, state, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, like that in your town also you can say any town, any river. If you simply say river, it is a common noun. If you say river Ganga, river Brahmaputra, Kaveri, Narmada, Krishna, Sharavati, Nile, Amazon, it becomes a proper noun. So, common noun in general, there is no specific name for that. When you give a specific name to a man, to a woman, he or she becomes a proper noun. When you give a name to a boy or a girl, he or she becomes a proper noun. When you give a name to a son or a daughter, he or she becomes a proper noun. When you give a name to the animal, bird, lion, tiger, and in grammar they say no. But trees are not like that. If you simply say tree, it is a common noun. If you say jackfruit tree, mango tree, coconut tree, banyan tree, it is called a proper noun. Our national tree is banyan tree. National fruit is mango. National flower is lotus. National bird is peacock. National animal is tiger. So these are the things. Okay. Our national anthem is Janagana Mana. And the three colors of the national flag are some many students will say sir, orange, white, and green. It is not orange, it is saffron. It is called saffron, Kesari and Chaptaro. Orange in Chopodo, white, green, in the middle, there is blue color. It's in a circle with 24 spokes. With the 24 spokes, you should be always, you should be vigilant on the 24 hours. That is what. And the person who, the person who designed the national flag, do you know who, what is his name? He is from Andhra Pradesh only. The person who designed the national flag is Pingal Venkaya. The person who designed the national flag is Pingal Venkaya. He is from Na, he is from your state, he is from Andhra Pradesh. So he framed, he planned and he designed the national flag should be like this. That is what how it is. 
Okay. Yeah. Now coming to common noun, you know, anything is common is a common noun. So there is no specific name common. So when I give a specific name, it becomes a proper noun. So now we'll come to proper noun. The second one is proper noun. Give some name, something like Ramesh, Arun, okay, something, something like Padma, any name of a lady, name of a girl, it becomes a proper noun. Any boy, you can tell your son's name, you can tell your daughter's name. So everything will become a proper noun because there is a specific. It's not common. Ramesh is not common. There will be only one Ramesh. Names will be different. Many people will be having the same name. When you, so when it comes to animals like lion, tiger, elephant, zebra, giraffe, all these are called proper noun. But in grammar, they say all animals, all birds, and all insects are covered under common noun. It's one common noun. So, for example, country, if you say India, a proper noun. If you simply say country, it is a common noun. When you name a country, it becomes a proper noun. Similarly, like state, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, if you simply say state, it is a common noun. When you give a name to the state, when you name, not give a name, name is already there. When you name the state, it becomes a proper noun. If you simply say country, it's a common noun. France, Italy, Switzerland, then it is a proper noun. Same thing with state, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Maharashtra, there are 28 states, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, West Bengal, like that. Yes. What is the name? Something like district, Karnul, Hyderabad, Secunderabad, Bangalore, you can say district. So when you specifically say a name of the district, then it becomes a proper noun. That is the difference between. So for example, if you just simply say river, it's a Godavari, Yamuna then it becomes a proper noun. If you simply say river, it's a common noun. When you name the river, not give a name, the name is already there. You cannot give a name to the river. The name is already there. When you name the river, then it becomes a proper noun. For example, Arabian Sea, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean. If you simply say ocean, it is a common noun. If you say Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, there are four oceans, isn't it? If you name the ocean, then it becomes the proper noun. The biggest ocean in the world is Pacific Ocean. The smallest ocean is Arctic Ocean. Ocean is bigger than the sea. What is the difference between ocean? Sagar and Sagar and 20% of the land is covered by water. Our universe is covered by 70% of water. So the biggest ocean <clears throat> is the Pacific Ocean the smallest ocean? If you name the ocean like Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean, then it becomes a proper, proper noun. So, similarly, like what all I have given for this, isn't it? If you simply say tree, it is a common noun. If you say banyan tree, jackfruit tree, coconut tree, mango tree, butterfruit tree, it becomes a proper strawberry a proper noun. If you simply say a vegetable, it is a common noun. So when you say brinjal, everything, brinjal, potato, tomato, it becomes a under, under vegetable, these are these are very common. So everything is a vegetable. It's in one general category. Okay. So that is how you address a common noun, the difference between a common noun and a proper noun. Now coming to next is pr coming to material noun. <clears> Thank <throat> you. 
material noun. Put this one. Gold, silver, bronze, copper, steel. All these are called material noun. So table, chair, table, chair, cot, dining table, dressing table, everything is called a material noun. This is only about non-living things. Living things will not occur in material noun because it is a material. It is all living things. A vehicle is a material noun. Any vehicle like three medals are given in Olympics. Three medals are given in Olympics with a certificate or whatever it is. The three medals are gold, silver and bronze. Olympics takes place once in four years. That you should know. These are called the gender knowledge questions. Three medals are, it's not medal, it's medal. In silver, bronze. Okay. Kanchu and Tukhtar. Adi Bangarmo, Idi, material. All things are material nouns. Now coming to next is collective noun. Collective noun means it will be in a group. It is not single, it is a group. It is not one, it is more than one, maybe two, three, four, five, six, like that. Any number. So collective noun means a bouquet of flowers. You should not say flowers, you should say flowers. An R. You should not say our an R. H is silent there. You can meet me after an hour. He came an hour late. He is an honorable person. It is my honor. You don't frame because you put number of flowers in a bunch of something like that and you as a presentation or something like that. As a mark of respect, you present a bouquet. If anybody wins the election, if anybody passes the exam, if anybody is promoted in a, fa in a factory or an office, they will use this bouquet of flowers as a mark of respect. Not to keep the flowers and put it on their head or something like that. This bouquet is given as a mark of respect. Bouquet means it is the collection of 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 plus. Coming to next is a bunch, a bunch of grapes, a bunch of keys. A bouquet of flowers, there are not one flower, there are many flowers. A bunch of grapes will not be a single grape. Maybe a bunch means it will be some 20, 30 in a bunch. That is called bunch. A bunch of keys, not a single key. Some four or five keys or more than one keys will be there. A swarm of bees. Ten puru. A swarm of bees. A herd of cattle. Aulu. A herd of cattle. So, herd is a collective noun. A pride of lions. Simhalu. They will be in a group. Lion and lioness will be group. Maybe some 10 or 20. A pride of lion, lions. A council of ministers. A, a council of ministers. A gang of thieves. A team of players. An army of soldiers. Army. You should not say army. Army of soldiers. Like that, a classroom. So, what you call it? The bouquet is a collective noun. Bunch is a collective noun. Swarm is a collective noun. Pride is a collective noun. Council is a collective noun. Gang of things is a collective noun. A fleet of ships. Many ships will be there. 
Many ships will be there in the seashore. Many ships will be parked in the seashore. So when many ships are there, more than one, that is 20, 30 or 10, those you call as a like you know, it is not single, it is more than one. You understand? Now coming to, I told you about common noun, fact noun, which can be felt but which cannot be seen. That is a different type of noun. Okay, I read that also. That is called abstract noun. I might have explained this in my previous class, but still, I want to revise this once again so that you should know what to say. Should know. Everything is there on the internet. What you want, everything is there on the internet. You can very easily search. In our school days, in our college days, I did my day graduation in the year 1975 76. Nothing was there. There was no TV. There was no except calculator was there. That's all for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Everything was manual. Man was struggling like anything. He wants to prepare a project to do something like it will take some days or months together. Now within a day they can do it. Within a day you can do it. The latest development in this world. In the 20th and 21st century, television without cell phone, there is no life. Every business is through computers only. They store and keep it. If everything is damaged, finished, you will not get any account. You will not do anything. Okay. So that is the latest development. But still, speaking is a skill. You should know how to speak. Just daily, how was the day yesterday? How did you spend your day yesterday? Sir, yesterday I was busy, sir. Yesterday I had hectic work, work schedule. Yesterday it was raining, sir. I didn't go anywhere. See, some of the words, some of the technical words. I was indoors. and I didn't go anywhere. I was indoor because it was raining. So these are the things you should care, you should get to know. So abstract down. <clears throat> so I was indoors. Sir, I have to have Tinali. I have to have Tinali. Sir, I won't have today because Monday I am fasting. question the person who's got. The answer can be the same. The answer can be different. Then you will ask, what did you have for lunch today? What did you have for lunch today? You will say, sir, I had palau. Like that you cannot. You will say. The other person will ask, what about you? If you had rice and rice with sambar and chopali. Sir, I had rice with sambar. You should not say palau. I had rice with sambar, I had rice with rasam, I had chapati with vegetable curry, I had chapati with egg burji, I had chapati with chicken masala, like that you can say. Suppose you had rice with sambar, he will also say, I also had rice with sambar. Same means you have to use also. Yesterday, cinema point in what were it yet required? We sleeping. I was also sleeping at Chopach. When the same action you have done, when the same thing you have eaten, you can use there also. Also the same. When you are wearing a red shirt and you are speaking over the phone, he will ask you. Wearing red shirt, say. Say Munteno, Miru, Apudu, also you. Padali. Lekapote also Yapudunu Wadapudu. Okay. Now coming to abstract down, <coughs> you can feel. You can feel. But can't see. But can't see. You can feel but can't see. For example, hunger. Wisdom. Strength. Strength. 
pain sickness pain so you can feel but you cannot see hunger sorry h u n g spellings are very very important in english even if you miss a single letter that will give a different meaning or that may give no meaning spellings are very very important in english we do kannada tamil hindi we write how we pronounce but here it is not like that sorrow sad wisdom buddhi strength beauty sickness pain death talasukro giddiness also you can say you know see five types of noun in english one is common noun one is proper noun one is material noun one is collective noun one is abstract noun it's better you get a book and make a note but still it is available in grammar books but just listen to me what i say noun yeah what is the pronoun pronoun the second one is pronoun this is the second part of speech pronoun is used instead of a noun pronoun reuse any of the names in pronoun we will just simply say a different thing that is called pronoun pronoun is used instead of a noun or pronoun replaces noun that is the definition example it is he him is all male coming to next coming to she her or hers it is hers and chukuch hers he us you they them T H I A there it is their house Valadi there and some more exam ah one more thing is there it I will tell what is that it it and some self words something like myself yourself myself in detail I explain that all the self words are called pronouns myself yourself himself herself themselves and itself i tell explain so we use name when you are addressing the same thing for the second time and subsequent time as i told you in the article ramesh go and get a book from the library ramesh goes to the library and gets me a book and he says here sir here is the book I saw an elephant near the circle. I saw an elephant near the temple. Come, he wants to meet you. I'll say, call the boy inside. When you are addressing anything for the second time, a gets converted to the. He becomes a different article. Here, what happens is only once you have to say the name. Second time, you have to say it, all these things only. England cricket team. England cricket team has come. they are residing in the cricket stadium they have won two world cups last year they lost to india so what if for the first time you say the england team when you are saying for the second time and subsequent time let it be 100 times there you have to use they 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 won for example i give my example my name is ashok kumar ashok kumar teach and he hand to friday he is from bangalore he speaks telugu at home he knows to speak six languages 
he has more than 15 years of experience in teaching like that only for the first time his name is ashok kumar he is an english teacher so any number of times you have to address them as he he or she she or something like that you understand this book that is his, his car that is his, his bedroom then coming to she she is my sister she is my daughter she is my she is my mother she is the hm she is the principal something like that she is alive or she is dead also you can say no problem isn't it for only for the first time just yes, she something like shakuntala then you can say after shakuntala you keep on saying she 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 only speak to her call her inside that is her scooter that is her bike that bike is hers <clears throat> One more thing, Yami. <clears throat> I, you know, I is also a pronoun. I mean, individual, singular. My, this is my book. Where is my pen? Where is my cell phone? Where is my hall ticket? Where is my dress? Like that, you can ask. Mine. This is mine. Idi naadi. Whose book is this? This is sir. This is mine. asked me he didn't tell me he didn't speak to me like that you can say me all these are called pronouns as we we means more than one we are students we are cricket players we are at home we are practicing english we speak english very well something like that be us he told us as means more than one maki chopya don't it the teacher told us to do the homework the teacher told us that there is no class tomorrow the teacher told us to be attentive in the class the government has ordered us to wear mask while you are going out something like that. you means you what do you do where did you leave your bike for servicing like that and yeah your r o one more thing is that r the <coughs> they means more than one they are studying they are playing anything you can say them speak to them like him talk like that there maladi t h e i r don't get confused with t h e r e there t h e r e means there there is a house go there akkad pondi come here ikkada randi but look at the spelling t h e i r t h e n waladi it is their house it is their property it is their site it is their school like that more than one coming to it r i this is a library this is our playground this is your this is your book this is your classroom this is your house this is a seat like that your so all these are called pronoun i will explain you after what is that it myself i did this work by i did this work myself ee pani nene chesanu so myself yourself him reflexive pronoun all these are called reflexive pronoun it reflexes you who did this work i this work this work myself ante ipani nene chesana ane maata yourself neere cheyandi himself he did it himself vaade chesadu herself you are stressing about the we will do it ourselves they did it themselves these are called itself it will work by itself computer washing machine xerox machine you just give an you know, something like that options and you just enter it will print by itself so all these are called reflexive pronouns then what is this it 
What do you mean by it? It means beings. Manshin would see Baki Danta it and tap. And another it is coming. When a dog is coming, you can say it is coming. It is jumping. It is eating. It is eating grass. It is chasing the deer, the lion, the cheetah, the tiger. So like that you can say. It is the definition of it is. It is everything. Think it's a fruit and it's water, it's rice. Everything you can say except human beings. The definition of it is it is everything except human beings. Never appear, I can say. Not come, the name will never appear. So now you came to know about what is a noun, different types of nouns, and a pronoun. Now I will teach you a verb. What is a verb and adverb? Two things I'll teach, then rest of the uh, What is the verb? The third word, isn't it? The third one is verb. And then what? Kriya padanta. Verb means action word. Verb means action word. <clears throat> Anything which shows action is called a verb. For example, read, write, isn't it? Read, write. Eat, teach, drink, play, kick, cook. All these are called, there are 530 verbs in the English dictionary. In the English language, there are 530. Here, Look, talk, speak. So you know what is read. I read newspaper every day. You have to make a sentences. Just simply learning the words and keeping quiet will not help you. You have to make this. Excuse me. Okay, you have to make sentences on your own. I read newspaper every day. I write stories. I write poems. I am writing. You can use ing also. Run. Usain Bolt runs fast. He walks slowly. He swims very nicely. I daily I go for a swim. Then it becomes a noun. Swimming. Eat. The verb there is a present tense for this tenses are there in the present continuous, past continuous, future continuous, present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect continuous, future perfect continuous. There are 12 tenses that I will go in detail in my further classes. So every without a word, there, there is no tense. So our action word is there. I teach English, he teaches maths. There is a difference between teach and teaches. Run and runs. Go, where to use has. Where to use do, where to use does. Where to use don't, where to use doesn't. Where to use go, where to use goes. Where to play, plays. When the verb gets converted to plural form. These are some of the things. Yeah. Before this thing, yeah. Hear and listen. What are the difference? Hear means simply hearing. Listen means concentration. You have to say, I am listening to the music. You cannot say, I am hearing the music. I am listening to Abdul Kalam's speech. I am listening to Narendra Modi's speech. You listen to me carefully, the teachers will say. Listen to me, don't listen to him. 
నామకి నుండి వాళ్ళ మాట వినోదండి అయితే ఐ హర్డ్ ఎ సౌండ్ అవుట్ సైడ్ లౌడ్ వాయిస్ అవుట్ సైడ్ the pastance of hear is heard the pastance of listen is listened and the difference between see and look <clears throat> the difference between see and look see is for the long time and also short time look is only for the short time i'm seeing a cricket match on tv i'm seeing a movie on tv look at me look at the board look down look up look there look here look through the window look at the window don't look at me like that so look is for a short while short while and i'm chapter see and take for a long time and see can also be used as night's bedding did you see him he was waiting at the bus stop did you see him was reading a newspaper in the library did you see him look talk can speak talk means everybody is talking at the same time your teacher will say don't talk too much children stop talking everybody is talking at the same time it's called talk and speak is when one person speaks other listens that is what somebody is speaking or the phone please hold on they will say you will receive a message if some if you you call someone if the phone is engaged somebody is speaking he is speaking to someone so the voice mail will get as not talking to someone you he is speaking to someone please hold on so speak is one person speaks others listens so that is the difference between talk and speak so this is how you have to frame the words for above adverb adjective preposition conjunction and verb what i'll do is tomorrow i'll teach you about adverb about or i can ask you shall i conclude the class now like that i have to ask shall i conclude the class now means stop just another matter inko executive ga at the meeting will come uh, secretary so md md director santa ila matadtarante shall we call it a day ante ఈ పొత్తి పని స్టాప్ చేస్తామనమాట దట్ మీన్స్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఫర్ లిజనింగ్ టు దిస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ ఇన్